I'm Jackson Pierce and this video is about ebooks. A lot of people ask my opinion on ebooks. Whether or not I think they're going to slowly murder hard copies, whether or not I own an e-reader, which I don't, by the way. The reason I don't own an e-reader is because hard copies of books have a sort of nostalgic meaning to me. Holding them, having them, turning the pages, smelling them even, they have this effect on me that really takes me back the same way that smelling evergreen makes me think of Christmas or cut grass makes me think of summer vacation. It's not that having hard copies of books makes me remember my childhood in a really direct way. It's that holding a hard copy of a book makes me feel the same way I felt as a child, like a dreamer, like somebody that can get lost in a book. But if I didn't have that nostalgic connection to hard copies of books, I would probably be perfectly happy reading all my books on an e-reader. Similar to how I'm perfectly happy having all of my music in a digital file on my computer. You know, I don't need a hard copy. I don't own a single CD, not one. So while I don't personally prefer ebooks, I don't really blame those who do. I do think that until kids are brought up solely on e-readers, there will be enough people around to maintain a need for hard copies. And I will admit there will probably come a day when hard copies of books are the rarity instead of the rule, but I don't think that day is right around the corner. So despite Amazon poorly naming their new tablet the Kindle Fire, I don't think ebooks are going to burn up hard copies. Yes, I know ebooks are gaining in popularity, and yes, I know a lot of bookstores are closing, but I think that has less to do with ebooks and more to do with the cost of running a brick and mortar store, especially when compared to the cost of running an online bookstore. Which again is very unfortunate to someone who loves hard copies of books because I love bookstores. But despite all that, I will say this, I think the most important thing is reading. Yes, it makes me sad to see a part of books that I love so much essentially being wounded, but I am glad that enough people are reading to warrant a change in the technology with which they do so. I'm glad that my books are bought and read, be it via Kindle or the hardback. Ebooks are not for me, but they are not the manifestation of evil either. They are just different. All right, and now for a total change of pace. Look what I have! Ah. This is an advanced copy of my next book, Purity, which comes out in April. I will be doing giveaways, but not until January, so I'm just taunting you with this. Yeah. More information about this book is on my website. You should go visit. There is a link somewhere. Also, I'm going to be traveling a lot in October and November, and I'm also going to be working on edits for Fathomless, the third book in the Sisters Red series. Because of all that, I'm going to kind of have to mix up my video schedule for a little bit. There will always be at least one video a week. There will usually be more. There could be videos on Wednesdays, Sundays even. The madness! Yeah, it's like 1.15 in the morning. I think I'm starting to crack. All right, thank you guys for watching. And by the way, if you're in Austin, Texas, I will be at the Austin Teen Book Festival this weekend, which I am very, very excited about. So yeah, there's that. I will see you later.